Hey guys, I'm back for another vlog today. Alright guys, so I'm standing outside my exam room. As you can see, I'm writing today. There's all my documents and stuff. I got everything ready. As you can see, I'm writing today. Uh, so I'm not sure what video they have planned for today. But I said I'll just do the intro today. As you can see, I'm going to go into my exam room. There's my seating register here. I think I'm writing on seat number 45. Let's check with seat number 845. Alright, let me just check quickly. Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's see what seat A45. A45. As you can see, they put me, they put me right in the front over here to blow, uh, to write my exam. A45, right in the front here to write. Alright, guys, I'll see you. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back for another vlog. As you know, we're in the Halloween season. Sorry, I look a bit tired because Kieran, what's actually the time now? We decided to do this challenge and what's the time? Ugh, as you can see, there's the time there, guys. Whoa. Anyway. Anyway, it's appearing upside down to you, but I'll show you when I turn the camera. Alright guys, so what we're basically doing now, it's like almost... It's 10 to 12. Alright, so what we're doing, we're doing Spooky Halloween Stories Challenge. So we decided to wake up and do this. As you can see, I got a hat here. So what we're going to do, we're going to give each person two minutes to come up with a Halloween story with paper and pen. And you, in this hat, we're going to have like mystery things like, I saw a, a clown walking behind you. And you have to incorporate two of these cards into your story. Anyway, in the story, you can incorporate them. So we're going to do this. And you all have to rate us in the comment section whose story was more interesting for Halloween. Hope you'll have a spooktastic Halloween, guys. Hey guys, so there's the hatch here. There's the time here. Ugh, my doozy. Always making doozies. All the time. Ugh, these people with their cartoon network watching late in the night hey, now. Yeah, okay, then come out from behind the curtain there now. Are you ready to do the spooky Halloween vlog? Hello? <sighs> you ain't scary. Anyway, come here. Are you ready to do the Halloween vlog? Yes, I'm ready to do the Halloween vlog. Alright, so who's going first? Okay, okay, I'll go. You going first. So we're going to put the lights off when you're telling your story. But now you're going to do the planning and you're going to choose. You have to choose and all how you're going to see in the dark. We leave the best for the last. Where's me? The I'm last. Oh, you can't me the best. No. Where's yeah. the pen? Uh, uh, uh. I don't know where's the pen. Where's yeah, the pen? Yeah, you last. I can't. You where's the pen? The I don't know where's the pen. Kaden, where's the pen now? <laughs> oh, there's it. I forgot. Come here. Come on. <laughs> you need a... You need, he needs this on his head. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Karen. So we're gonna... Okay, so you choose from the hat now. I was sitting so comfortably in the blanket. Then you interrupted me. How many? Two. Okay, let's switch the TV off. It's gonna distract us in the vlog. Jake the dog, eh? <gasps> Alright. No. Uh, uh, I will mix it. Just now you'll cheat to everybody. Alright, choose two. And you have to incorporate them into your vlog. A vampire <laughs> bat. Yeah, you have to incorporate it somewhere and another one. Ah! We Stop it. Someone, we'll turn that page upside down. Right. Okay, choose. <laughs> You're turning all the pages, alright. A pink cloth. Yeah, alright. So those are the two things you have to incorporate into your... A pink cloth and a vampire bag. That means you have to have those two somewhere in your spooky Halloween story. Okay. Come here, would you like to choose Kaden upset all this? So I have to turn it back no, upside first down. Me. No, by the time she can cho choose which one she's going. Alright, Kaden, we're going to give you two minutes to think of your story and write it. Alright, Kaden, you got one minute left and I'm watching and I'm waiting for you. I'm a cow. Yeah, you're a cow. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's start now. We're gonna get right back to you. Alright, Kaden, as you can see, I started the camera. Your two minutes is up. Let's see what you got there. Let's see what you got there. No, I'm not showing Let's just show the audience a sneak peek of what you put there. Alright, as you can see, he wrote a 400 word essay already. <sighs> uh, so. Let's no, it's only like. So that's your spooky story. At least give us the title of your spooky story for Halloween. A Vampire Nightmare. Alright, let's just wait for Kamiya to return, then we're gonna listen to your story. Lights can go off now. Lights off. Alright guys, let the Halloween fun begin. Lights off. 
Kaden. Yo, you look damn weird there. Vampire. What does my title again? I don't know, you told the audience your title. Vampire Nightmare or something. Vampire, it's Vampire Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> a Vampire Nightmare. Put it on the other thing, borrow me this, I'll help you, yeah. Right, that's much ah. better. No, I don't like to be so annoying. In a dark, stop it. Stop. In a dark and spooky place, there once was an innocent girl. Who was about seven years old. Her parents died when she was five years oh, yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had nowhere to stay. Oh, yeah. So she stayed in her parents' house. Then one day while she was going to make her supper in the parents' house. Wait, quick question, quick question, sir. How old was it that? I just said she was seven and she was five when she Why don't you bother me? This I'll shine the flashlight on you. It's more better like that. She was five. Oh, okay. Any more questions you have? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was in a dark and spooky house. Ooh. And people say that. Uh, stop like sucking. <laughs> and people say that every Halloween, something's happened very strange in that house. May and then, so as I was saying, <laughs> let's continue while she was making her supper. <sighs> A bear, a bat flew through the broken glass window which had blood on it. A vampire bat? No, a bat. Oh, because I, don't, in her I remember on the card we gave you. Just, you're not listening to the story. <laughs> a bat flew in her house and bit her on her neck. Ooh. And that bat also carried with it a pink cloth. So then... She found out when she, she started getting fangs, she thought it was the ordinary bat. Ooh, but then she found out when she started getting fangs and she couldn't see her reflection in the mirror that it was a vampire bat. So, and then she screams and while she's screaming, she starts turning into a vampire. The fangs come, the pale skin, can't see her reflection, the claws and all. And she just loves the succulent taste of red wine blood. And then the vampire breaks loose. She transforms to this vampire and it breaks, all hell breaks loose in. And, and then nowadays she haunts every Halloween night and scares the innocent children that come there for tick or treat every year. The end. Woo! Any comments about the story? I'll give it a 3 out of 10. It's not a scary story. Yeah, it's just a normal Halloween story. Yes. Yeah. I like to see your stories too. Alright, next now let's do me because Kamea is unfortunately eating yeah. over there. So, so we will do me now. Alright. Lights. I need the vampire. Lights on. Alright, so now it's going to be my turn. Give me the hat. Beautiful Excuse me, baby. it's your turn, Helen. Yes, I'm good greeting all this for this Halloween. Ooh, chocolate! Did you steal this for my Chico Chief basket? No. Alright, anyway, let's see what I got. A orange clown nose. Hmm, let's see how I'm gonna incorporate that in my story. And a mustard coat. Hmm, let's see how I'm gonna introduce the group. Alright, I'm ready to show my a story. An orange clown nose and a mustard coat. Yes. Oh, so you don't need any planning like me. And you had a chocolate. And a chocolate. Can I open this? No. no. Ugh, only, until, only when the story gets interesting then. Okay, I can start. You don't need planning, you sure? Yeah. Okay. Lights off. Wait, I will hold it to myself. No, yeah. no, you're blinding my eyes. Wait, right. You're blinding my eyes. Oh, I'm so sorry about no, that. No, no. Alright. Okay. Once there was a beautiful, beautiful monkey couple. They lived with the twins. The mother unfortunately did die after giving birth to her twin of twin monkeys. So the father <laughs> was <laughs> what are you talking about that? No man, I thought of something funny how you not know, disrespecting your story. Alright, 
So after that, what happened? The father went hunting one day for berries. Okay, they're like monkeys. Then unfortunately Are they um quick question? Are they monkeys or are they are they like monkeys? That's why I'm confused. No, you just said they're monkeys and then you're saying are they like monkeys? So they are anthropo- kind of uh, anthrop- uh, the anthropomorphic animals. Okay, thank you. That's what that Basically means they give a human quality. So the monkeys twins, it was a boy and a girl. The first name started with, with Juliet and the second name was James. So James and Juliet were very curious monkeys. They were absolutely curious. What happened one day was while they were walking through the jungle, James got caught in a net. And then Juliet also got caught in the net. But you know what happened? The father, a hunter came and brutally murdered their father in okay. front of them. And beheaded the father and kept it as a trophy. Juliet and James were sold to the nearby zoo in New York Zoo. Then, you know what happened? Juliet and James, one day went to Oh, one day they found a weird orange clown nose and when and then the zoo animal giraffe told them it was like two years later they would go do not put the orange nose and it was a full moon as they put the orange nose on james grew a weird fur on him a knife he was able to control knives with telekinesis then juliet put on this weird mustard coat that was lying near her it just appeared in their cage and all of a sudden she was able to control people's nightmares then they went for revenge they looked at all the hunters in the world mm-hmm. and every halloween night they go around brutally murdering hunters and james uses his telekinesis to shoot knives into the hunters brains and brutally murder them and they go into little hunters children's pens and they sleep next to them pretending to be stuffed monkey animals waiting for the right moment to brutally murder them juliet's quick question you said they they hunt. You said they kill hunters, not children, right? Yeah, the hunters' children to get revenge for the hunter who mur- oh. brutally murdered their father. Oh, okay, yeah, and So okay. they crawl into the hunters' dreams and start like a Freddy Krueger thing. Oh, they scare it. them from their dreams, and when they wake up, James is waking over there, and he just beheads them. Oh. So who knows? Maybe they're watching you for Halloween. James and Juliet, the monkey psycho twins. Okay, good. Come here, your turn. Better hurry up. Alright, lights on. So, what I did tell you about this, Kira rated his. What are you to give A bad mark, obviously. A four or five, I think, yeah. Karen's is a seven. Okay. I now can it. I get the bubbly chocolate? I give it yes. a four. So that should be a rewind the chocolate. Yay! My trick or treat you candy. Eat that chocolate. <laughs> It'll be Hurry up it's your guys. As you can see, it's 25 past 12. Come here. You after midnight. Oh, the creepiest times. Ever. So let's okay. see what you got. So I, I, have, so I have a hat here. Pick up two stuff. From the hat. Wait. Wait, you can't see what it is. I am not gonna see, man. Right, thank right. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This hat, I don't know. Mm. Don't look! Close your eyes. One, and another one. You have to incorporate it in the chest. Right. Okay. I got yeah, but wait, did you incorporate things in the story? Yes, I did. I have a black cat and an owl glass. Mm. This one has a this? zombie handy. The last one, fun part I never pick it through. So owl so glass left, and black cat. We left, as we said, we left the best for last. Woo! Actually, yes. Woo. So let's, okay, let's jump right into this video. Into my channel. Lights off! Lights off! Kimia. Are you ready, Kims? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so. Stop. 
Bye. Mm, I have a black cat and an hourglass, so it's time to tell my story. Please have your popcorns ready and whatever slash puppy. <laughs> Why are you laughing, How? It's a truth, How. You're going to be amazed when you hear my story. Let's hear how amazed. So, start my story, start off first. With the small girl. Oh, Lord, Shady. Stop that cat and stop that man. Don't do that. Never do that to us. As I was saying, the story starts off with this young girl. She's six years old. She has a mother and father in a story. So, what happened is that her mother and father bought her this because her birthday is her, her sixth birthday. She just turned six. So, they bought, I know it might be boring, but wait until the Christmas Park house. So, her mother and father decided to buy her a gift that she always wanted. She always wanted a, this doll. Well, this doll, I don't know if it was her favorite doll she always wanted. So she requested to her mother and father to buy this doll. So what the mother and father did... Wait, to hold up. Her. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't see you too black. Am yeah, I you're too black. As I you're said, sleeping. You're disturbing me now. Come on, don't do that. So I thought, where was I, man? I know I said so her mother boy. and father surprised the daughter on her sixth birthday when she turned six with a present that she always been wanted, which was a doll. So the daughter's birthday was finished, right? They, is it a they, Barbie doll? You no, know, Canon, it's not a Barbie doll. It's an ordinary doll. It's an ordinary doll, but it's a boy version. It's not a girl. I don't know why, but I don't disturb. As I was saying, so the birthday and all ended, the mother gifted the child their presents and all. So, as soon as everyone left the party, the child went straight to look, have a look at a doll and start playing with a doll. As you know, that I, some most of children like playing with dolls. So, so what the daughter did, that uh, the parents went to sleep and the daughter was left there alone in the room. And her, the, and then her parents had a black, she had a black cat as a pet. But imagine that, but she had a pet, a black cat as her pet. So she and her black cat were playing with this doll actually. Then after that, the do the, the daughter fell asleep with the doll in her hands. Ooh. Unfortunately, with the doll, she slept with the doll. She fell asleep while playing with the doll in her hands. The, and, the, and her pet cat slept next to her by the doll. So as she was sleeping, she could hear movements and she could feel something on her on her duvet on her blanket. That like something is moving. She was wondering if it's a cat. She thought it was a cat at first that's moving to go somewhere. But after that, when she looked, when she got up eventually to some see what's on her bed, the doll disappeared. The doll was nowhere to be found in her arms. The doll was missing. So the, the girl was a pretty shocked and scared what happened to the doll because she remembered the last thing she remembered was that the doll fell, fell asleep with her in her arms. So the girl was too afraid to get up from the bed. So what the girl did was, eventually she had the courage and mastered and she got up from the bed. She was too scared to reach the light and put the light on. So what happened was, she went, she didn't put the light on, she used the torch, as like now, she used the torch. As she was shining the torch to each corner of her walls to see where's the doll, if the doll fell under the bed, fell on the side and all. As she was shining the torch, the doll was stand, standing right behind the door. Because the door, she slept with the door open. As soon as she sh uh, shone the, Give me your hand, your friend, the doll. <laughs> as soon as the, she shone the light at the doll, she could see the doll standing there, and the doll was already alive. The girl started screaming, and the doll had a knife in its hand. Just to tell you that, the girl was continuously screaming, but the parents looks like the the doll did something to the parents Hypnotized. the parents did not wake up because i don't know what i think the pair the doll already killed the parents the doll was plotting all of this it was alive but acting dead and i was saying it had the knife in his hand and i then besides the head bottle of her the doll wanted to throw an hourglass at the girl to kill her so as i was saying the poor cat was trying to protect her owner which the cat unfortunately died coming in the way to protect the child the, the doll stabbed the the cat sadly because the cat was trying to protect the owner by scratching so the cat died and as i was saying the mother and father i don't know what happens to them it's still a mystery what happens to them. 
So eventually, the dog came for the girl, and the girl died. Is that the end? And the girl died. And the house is haunted after. And then after that, the house is haunted. We still don't know if the parents died or got trapped. What but I'm guaranteed that the cat and the owner died together. So and you can still hear these screams. And you can Halloween. still hear these screams everywhere in the house. Every Halloween. Not yeah, every Halloween you can hear as soon as you enter this house and the parents are nowhere to be found. Hey, I'm just giving extra exposition. So guys, this is my story for you all today. Leave a comment and tell me what you think about my story. Tell me which stories is the best character or Karen or mine. Stop that please guys, you're hurting my eyes. Alright guys, thanks for watching our Halloween spooktastic Halloween content. Share with us what nice stories and other Halloween videos you would like to see. Enjoy the Halloween Drop season. a big like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. We out.